Alrighty YouTube, how the fuck you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for fucking asking. Today we're bringing you another reacting video. So today we are going to react to the top 10 most dangerous water slides. The original video link I'm going to put in the description below. Now I've always been into water slides as I was younger. I'd rather water slides over actually like show rides in my opinion just because I think water slides are fucking way much more funner and fucking cooler. Even on a hot day, you'd rather go on a water slide than rather ride just because you... Just because, like, when you're on a water slide, like, you know, you get wet and it's cold. And when you're on, like, a, it's on a hot day and you're on a ride, you just get warm air. So, you know what I'm saying by that? So, I've never seen this video. We're going to react to it in 3, 2, 1, boom. Welcome back to List Jumbo. You might not think of danger when you think of water slides. In fact, you might assume that water slides are safe. Yeah, they also. But the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions. Here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Number 10. Insano, Brazil Beach Park. Bra All right, pause. All right, did you just see how fucking steep that is? That looks fucking really steep. Like, honestly, like, if you want to fucking drop down to that, like, you'd... I, I don't, I honestly, I like water slides, but that looks fucking steep. Alright, play again, 3, 2, 1. Brazil. The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into 41 an meter drop. Below. The slide opened in 1989, and when it did, it was the tallest water slide in the world. The slide is not for the faint of heart, though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide, and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. Wonder, pause. All right, wonder if um, people have, like, when they go up to the top, imagine the whole line up there, and then they're just, like, they're too scared, so they'll have to go back down. Like, I, I think I've done that to a normal ride when I was younger, and, and it was pretty embarrassing. But I, that's pretty ballsy to do that. Play. The ride is only five seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop. Become airborne? Because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instructed on how to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world but it remains the fastest, as sliders can reach speeds of a heart-pounding 65 miles per hour. 65 miles per hour. That is a fucking... I don't know how much, because in Australia it's in, uh, we're in kilometers per hour. So that would be... That'd be almost 100. No, would it? I don't know, I'm trying to use my brain here. I honestly have no idea. That, let's just say that's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. Play, three, two, one, go. Number 9. The Aqualoop at Wet n Wild, Gold Coast, Australia. Yo, the Aqualoop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders down a 10 meter drop I, and into an inclined pool. During I, I've been to this. I've, I've been to Queensland before and I went to. What is it? Wet n Wild or White Water World? I saw this. I did not go on it. I was too fucking pussy. Literally, it dr drops. Like, you, you stand there and it just drops. I think my sister went on it though. I'm not. I don't, I'm pretty sure my sister was more bullsy than me at the time. I don't know about now, but you know. During the seven-second slide, riders can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and 60 can experience there. a g-force of 2.5. That the is slide, fast. Which was designed by Whitewater West Aqua Arena, relies yeah, White Water on sliders World. achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. However, not What's all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Nonetheless, okay, I had no idea about that. I hope she's all right. She sued for 400 grand. That's a lot of money, but hopefully she's all right. Yes, the Aqua Loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous Aqua Loop annually. Number 8 The Black Hole, Wet n Wild, Orlando, Florida. 
The black hole water slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Yeah, that looks sick. Like I don't, you, I don't think you would be able to say anything in there. But that looked like it would just, it's like it'll be a rush. Like you know what I'm saying? Like once you go through, like you you won't be able to say that much, but it it'll be adrenaline rush. It'll be good. Including a 1.73 million dollar payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 what? when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff is told to send people down at 20-second intervals. This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. Number 7. Wow. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario. The steamer slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate- All right, first off, I'm just saying I would actually go on all of these rides. Now, you're probably just thinking, no, you probably won't at the time. If you go, if I go there, I go up to the top, I'll probably chicken out and fucking go back down. It's just me charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its riders. And although some of the charges were dismissed, the park was found guilty on six accounts, resulting in a payout of $500,000 in damages. $500,000. Now, I'm pretty sure all of these were, like, someone would have a lawsuit against them, but 500 grand. Now, that previous one was, what, 1.3 million back in 94? Like, damn, that's like a lot of money. Let's just hope these guys are right, though. And, like, you know, that's just... Like, you got to test these, like, multiple times. Like, I know, like, shit happens, but, like, fuck me, that's a lot of money they would have to pay that guy. They would, they would have lost a lot of money. That is a lot of money you've lost.